Let's see. <clears throat> okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, Chris is so pumped. <laughs> you see, Chris, you were like, three, two. <laughs> He's going to stay awake the whole time looking straight. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Five Idiots Talking Toys. It's Wednesday's wins and whiffs of the week. John Walden is getting an up-close and personal view of all the people that are watching. He has that kind of capability. There he is. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous man. Charles is here. Brandon is in his garage. And Chris is so pumped for this episode, he almost fell out of his chair. Almost. <laughs> almost. All right. Another, oh, I said all right. John, mark it down. If you have, do you have a pen? Uh, mark it down at 38 seconds. I said all right. John is counting those, by the way, guys. Apparently, I say them as much all as right. Matthew McConaughey. For our viewers, right. for our viewers, it's a new drinking game. Every time Shane says all right, Ooh. take a drink. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> take a take a drink. There goes Brandon. Take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Don't got to tell me twice. <laughs> so have... it's, go ahead. Uh, we have a sixth person on the show. What? Who's that? Brandon's the, mustache? The mutant <laughs> on Brandon's lip. <laughs> <laughs> Is it what? Movember? I mean, Mo. It's mustache May. <laughs> I've never heard of that. <clears throat> Neither has my wife, but I just I said it's mustache May. And she's like, that doesn't exist. And I said, it does now. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's got a May stash. God, I only, I mean, I've been growing it since Friday. Charles okay. grew his for the entire month, and it was about a third as thick as what you got going oh, on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I FaceTimed Brandon, I think, this morning. He FaceTimed me. He wanted to show me something, and his mustache was about one-third the size of his now. It, it like quadruple probably i was gonna say when you spoke to him this morning he was clean shaven <laughs> no he had like a little bit of stubble now it's like i was I like know, it was like three inches long i was like hey charles i was facetime and i was like hey does this look how does this look and he's like i can't see it i can't there's something in the way <laughs> your mustache <laughs> <laughs> all right we're here with wins and whiffs Let's jump in. Let's see what the new additions to the collection are. Subscribe to our channel and comment what your favorite win is after you see this episode. It's time for Wins of the Week. <laughs> All right, folks, we're traveling south. Depends on where you're from, I guess, but three of us would be traveling south. To Georgia, John Walden. We're almost got you there. One more time. There it is. <laughs> Guys, we're in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. Let's see what John's win of the week is. Yes, yes. Oh, look. Glad to see. She's glad to see off. Hillary's with you. Oh She's yeah. Still here. She's still here. Yeah. Oh, that was so funny. <clears throat> if you missed the live stream. I wore the mask. Matt Neef threw out a uh, super chat and Hillary Clinton showed up. Like $200. Yeah, it was awesome. No, it wasn't $200. That's the super chats that we're never going to see, right? Yeah, <laughs> the super chats we're never going to see. Um, what? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is I, saw, I just got a glimpse of it. Five gallon water challenge. You never did it? Oh, God. I didn't even see it. You are out of your mind. Drink five gallons a day. <laughs> five gallons. It's kind of bad for you. I was going to say, that's actually too much. No, it's actually really good for you. That whole jug per day? No, it's that's no. impossible. I don't even drink I five gallons I peed like day. 47 times today already. Yeah. I, I've been drinking a lot the last like two months, and... It's in ridiculous the difference of how many times you have to get up and pee. Yeah, I've been drinking. I've, I've been drinking a lot too. The less. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to cleanse your body. 
with five it's gallons, five gallons of water, five gallons of Amstel light. Yep. All right. Pretty All sure right, Johnny. Watch that timer. Not recommend that. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> oh, me? Come on, show us your superpowers already. Here's hey, how's Johnny? Because only John collects superpowers. <clears throat> yep. Fact. Well, on this channel, yes, but there are several other collectors. Thank you. Are we showing our wins? Or... Oh, there we go. Yeah. So this is uh, this is Parademon. Wasn't he in the WWE? Um, yeah, he, he double teamed with uh, Ricky Steamboat. He's a <laughs> he looks like a luchador. Uh, he looks like so he's from the, like the Power Rangers. The story with this <clears throat> guy oh is a superpower action feature. Wasn't he in See, Book of Boba Fett? Even does, that's the exact same thing that the wrestlers do. Uh, probably. But uh, this is another story where I found the gun first. This gun was in that collection that I had. All right. And then <clears throat> uh, I ordered the figure. So now I have a complete parademon. So that's pretty cool. Nice. One more down. One more down. So How much that's is that the superpowers? The gun worth? Are How much worth? is the gun worth? Yeah. 25, 30 bucks. Uh. And what is, and what's the figure worth? Uh, the figure complete, about sixty five, seventy dollars. Huh. I paid, I think, twenty five for the figure. So, Chris has a philosophy: if your item that you're showing is under a hundred dollars, oh he's, god, he's, he's angry that you're even showing it to him. <clears throat> so the story with the parademon is like in the Super Friends show, like the power of the Super Friends or whatever you know um, that. <clears throat> that the, All right, the, here we go. <laughs> the likeness of the superpowers collection is based on the cartoon. Do you remember that with the Hall of Justice and all that? I'm sure. Anybody ever watch? Did anybody ever watch that? When you I don't it? think I even watched. I had it. a I, cartoon. I had no idea. Yeah. I'm gonna have so to uh, they used it? to call what's them the name the, of it? in the comics. These are called parademons. No. What's the name of the the show? The Super Friends. Uh, yeah, I, I recall that, but I have no good excuse of why I didn't watch that because I would have been the right age, you know, six, seven years old. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't recall. I used it. to watch it all the time. But uh, <clears throat> so but in the comics, they're called parademons. They're part of um, I think they're part of Dark Side's kind of like his flying monkeys or whatever. Dark but, that, um, that Dark Side the cartoon, figure was cool. Do what? That Dark Side figure was cool. Yeah. Um, in the cartoon, they had to call them paradrones hmm. because they didn't want to use the term demon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Parademon. <laughs> Parademon. <laughs> All right. Blaster. <laughs> Complete. <laughs> Working action. Going to my collection. <laughs> That's really garbage. <laughs> I love when John should, you know, yeah. frankly, I do because I just don't know that line. So at least I get to see something new that I'm not familiar with. Yeah. Um, Chopping them down. Yeah. Well, you. Oh, I've always been. Yeah. John is always expanding. Mr. Expander. <clears throat> yeah, if it's a toy, if it's an action figure, I probably have bought it at some point. All right. Well, I'm going to go a toy. To... John will collect it. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Uh, if it's an if it's a toy line that you put in front of Brandon, he will collect it. Speaking of, I'm going to go to Brandon next because I'm hoping he has something that will wake Chris up a little bit before I go and put him to sleep. So <laughs> I know it's like if you have something that's under a hundred dollars, Chris just goes directly to his phone. <laughs> so, so we've been letting Chris down on your phone. <laughs> so he's been on his phone. Well, this thing is greater than a hundred dollars, so Chris will probably have to. Ooh, what the? Probably have to to look at if I can find the damn thing. Take your time, Brandon. Don't worry. We you know we're, we're not shooting an episode now. Oh, here it is. Do we do this every Sunday night? No, Wednesday. I don't even know where I put it. I picked this up today. Yeah. Aliens while hunting. Uh, close. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, the old oh, Rimco Wolfman. Yeah. Those nice. in the dark. What is that? Started. 78? Ow! 
Toys R Us. Toys That's R Us. why you're growing the beard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wolf Wolfman. Beer? Yeah. 80. 80. I was close. I um didn't even know anything about these and I asked the guy if he had what else he had and he's like, Oh, I got this Wolfman figure. And I was like, What what's that? And I was like, Oh, this looks pretty cool. And then yeah. I know that there's Dracula, Mummy, Frankenstein, the Phantom of the Opera, and the cre- creature from the Black Lagoon. And I know they're remaking these. NECA is right. Yeah, um, in a larger format, but this is the. They look exactly like that. The the packaging looks exactly like that. The original three and three quarter Wolfman. <clears throat> wow, pretty nice shape. Sweet, very cool. Are you keeping yeah. that for yourself, or are you selling it? No, I'll probably be on the page. God dang, sell to me. <laughs> <laughs> John salivating over there, huh? I knew he's John. Going- I knew John was gonna say because he loves. He's got all the horror figures and stuff. <laughs> yeah. There. No, I mean uh, that'd be cool in my shop. I thought about keeping it, but then I'm like looking at the other ones, and I think the the creature from the Black Lagoon goes for oh like, god, a bit. that's expensive. It's like yeah, four or five hundred bucks. Yeah. So this is pretty neat. So. Yeah. Very cool. Um, yeah, I didn't even know. I didn't even know about these things. But the packaging is like amazing. Oh yeah. Why don't you open yeah. up now? <laughs> it's like it's it's a huge freaking card back with a. I know. I know. That's a standard thinking, card back. I kept thinking the exact same thing. Why does it look so small and a huge card back? Yeah. It's yeah. a standard but card it, back. It's they just had like to fit uh, his face on there. Probably that's why. Hmm. It's what? Oh, they had to fit his face on there. Maybe. That's yeah. why uh, this is well, the same size as a. That's the same size as your face. <laughs> I mean, that face you know, is the same. You as want your to compare? Face. It's the same size as a. Oh, it's smaller. Yeah, it's smaller even. I mean, look wow. smaller. Yeah. See, it's like an optical illusion, Charles, because he's holding it up it, next to his mustache, and it slightly it looks slightly you know, smaller. It's a different size because the mustache it's is the mustache. Humongous. Yeah, yeah. That's why. The mustache slightly is so smaller big. than a Star Wars mock. So big, yeah. I mean, your your mustache is only slightly smaller than a Star Wars mock. Actually, the Wolfman should have borrowed a Brandon's mustache to play this character better. <laughs> right, he's got a thinner yeah. upper lip. Rimco made a lot of cool stuff. They I don't know how they got their licensing or whatever, but they made they did. Um, Looks close. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty good, right? Yeah, that's pretty. They accurate. did the Karate Kid stuff. Screen accurate. Did. Yeah, the Karate Kid. Yep. They did Karate Kid. They did the Ronald McDonald Land. Did you see that uh, Karate Kid playset up for sale, John? I, I see it. You you gonna buy it? No, it's too much. I've never seen it before. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's there's one by me at a, at a at a toy store. Oh really? The Karate Kid playset? It's been there for like a year already. Yeah, no what are they asking for? But it's, they're cool figures, but no one wants that. I mean, I really don't know offhand, but I want to say like three to 500 bucks, maybe it's yeah. super something like niche, that. Like that's you know, super. Niche, yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. I had I'm someone on wax, wax off. I had someone come in this weekend and specifically ask for a swear bear. Oh, and we had a swear one. bear. What? Yeah. They're like little vinyl figures. They're about this tall, kind of like Funko Pops, but they're called Swear Bears. And he said, I collect vinyl. Um, do you guys have any Swear Bears? And I was like, dude, I have a Swear Bear. Did he buy it? He bought it. Oh. John was so excited, I bet. It's yeah, so it was pretty cool. How much is it? It's pretty cool to have something somebody more. wants. Uh, that that was priced at like eight bucks because we didn't give a whole lot for it. Mm. <laughs> they go for eight. about t- eight. <laughs> They get, he bought you know almost hundred dollars worth of stuff, but probably because oh, we had a swear bear. I mean, but, for eight dollars, uh, I would have bought it too. All right, boys, it's time for Charles's win of the week. <laughs> Are you pushing it along, Shane? I'm pushing it along. Yeah, we got a little. Story I don't appreciate time, which, that. Is, which is always good. <clears throat> My win of the week. Did you say something about the timer. Yeah, I go. Yeah, hey Charles. <laughs> My one of the week is a uh, Rat King from Teenage Mutant nice. Ninja Turtles. He got an wow. eighty-five. Wow! Nice. Comes with a little rat. Cool man. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah I like, rem- I remember the little rat. I because I definitely had that. 
Yeah, the rap- these, I don't know if I had that guy or not. One he of these was a pretty early. Older. He was a pretty early figure. I remember wanting him. But, yeah. hey, he's he was in the like first, in like series, series ahead, two he's or three. 20. Yeah. Go ahead, Charles. Uh, this little rat, like right up there, scares me that it's going to fall off. <laughs> it like hooked on him somehow, but it looks like it's going to fall off. So I'm oh, sure geez. it probably will. My luck. But it Very does cool. look like a nice display, but it is another kind of massive acrylic. So they set it up like so nice. But yeah, it looks it, awesome. It's huge, but yeah, there's only 20 of them. So it's not a big deal. Yeah, but imagine if you had 20 of those for your cabinet. I will. This is number yeah. two. <laughs> Are they going to do them all the same size as what you're saying? I think so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they're all the same thing. Nice. I wish they made them smaller, but that's how they make them. So, okay. Well, it's, I think it's I think it's kind of nice to have them uniform <clears throat> too, though. So that that'll yeah. be better than if they were all mixed sizes. It's yeah. nice to have a break cool. from Lego. It is nice to have a break. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Charles is starting a five-gallon revolution, guys. This maniac. Chug, 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 chug. Yeah, I thought he was going to finish it. It's a real thing. Five gallon challenge. So you're buying each jug or, or you're filling that up each day? I already have these anyway. You know, I have a water dispenser in my house. Yeah, what but to drink that? one per day is like yeah, crazy. They're, they're like seven bucks. Chris, I go to your house. You have $1 bills rolled up near the toilet to wipe my. <laughs> wipe my rear end when I go to the bathroom to help seven dollars like I'm trying to figure out <laughs> that thing is pretty heavy when it's full so you walk around the house with this That's huge with a 30 pound jug like <laughs> got a handle on it I love how he doesn't stuff. even use oh, the yeah. handle he yeah. doesn't even use that yeah but can you can you, you pick that up handle, when it's full? nothing left <laughs> but what yeah, do you do it looks so full. much funnier though <laughs> do you ha- do you have a giant straw no now how do you how do you drink out of that? Charles is living the pure life. Okay, now go get a new one and let's see you drink out of it. So are you done for the now? day now? <laughs> yeah, I want to see. I want to see how you lift a, you only a, do it for like a few days. jug over your head to drink from it. You only do it for a few days, and that's it. I want to see Charles driving around in his car <laughs> at work with that jug in the front seat. Drink <laughs> a, a full one of those. A full one of those is forty pounds. So. Okay. Listen, yeah, so exactly. you don't, you, you don't have 30, to drink so. it out of this thing. Just because you see me doing it now, it doesn't mean you have to drink it. No, that's out part of, of the challenge. You can that's put it of... into smaller containers. No, you, you know what's happening? There was almost here? nothing left, so I drank it out of the bottle. You know, <laughs> you guys know exactly <laughs> what's happened here, right? I'm mind blown by he's, all of this. He's all out of late July. He has yeah. no Bella v- Villas in the house. I'm not hungry. So he, he needed he needed a new a new thing for tonight. So the now we're on the five gallon challenge. The water stuffed him up. That's why you I ever heard. play Edward Forty Hands? Let's play some Edward five gallon jug hands. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna duct tape his hands to that handle? Yeah, I'm gonna duct tape his hand to the handle. <laughs> two of them. <laughs> and whoever breaks the seal first loses. That's funny. <laughs> All right, let's get to the next win of the week i think we already saw charles's win we did he's got that five pound five gallon jug we did we did all right guys i i have something uh pretty topical that i got in uh this past week i'm always scouting as you and all the viewers know for anything with scouting 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 for anything with by the way i i switched for for, uh for leia and call her Boosh now because I found the original radio audio recording with the, some of the original actors oh, for Return oh. of the Jedi, and now my kids are so angry about it. They're like, "Why do you Boosh. Keep saying Boosh? It's Boush. Boush. So, so no one. Whoa, 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 whoa. No one. So what is the, reco- the recording says what? Boosh. Boosh. Uh, Anthony Daniels is on the radio recording, and the dialogue is a little bit different than the movie. And uh, his voice sounds a little little higher too, but it's when it's was, actually Anthony Daniels, and he says "boosh" about five times when, when he's interpreting for Jabba. Hmm. When was this recorded? I believe it was recorded like of the time, like eighty three, eighty four, and apparently it like never made. It was supposed to be some sort of a hmm. a radio <clears throat> special, 
and it never made it to air. And then somebody got a hold of the file and made like a, a video with it with like some cartoons and some cut scenes and stuff like that to make a visual. It's on YouTube. You can look it right up. But that was the first time I've heard anybody pronounce the name, and it was Anthony Daniels. So I have to believe he was being coached on on the pronunciation somehow. But so anyway, I'm always scouting for items, and I came across this because it had been really fresh, and I got it in. The time I got it in when it was very new. (laughs) Here is a Mm. Princess Leia boosh. Star Wars Celebration celebration 2023 Europe. Oh, wow. Did you go? Yeah, I was there for two weeks. (laughs) (laughs) I'm still here. I'm still there now, actually. You took your whole collection to London with you? Yeah. (laughs) So, yeah, somebody, the very first person I saw post this up uh, on eBay um, that had, you know, some ridiculous price and make an offer. I made an offer. They accepted it right away. And now I've seen like, you know, a dozen of them come up, but. Um, there's people that have posted the entire set of them as well. There's like at least 15 or 20 of them. And the sets go for like three to $400 at least. So I'm going to share that swag. Is that swag? No, no, no. It's an official, it's a chase. It's like a chase coin. Oh, gotcha. So it's a legit metal coin that was, that was created by the convention. Restrike, restrike. So, um, and it's a lot, you see, it's, I don't know if you could tell from my hand, it's a large format coin. It's it's like one and a half times the size of the power of the force force oh, coins. Nice. Do you have something? You have something around four inches to put it next to. <laughs> we can see the size difference. We can do a size comparison. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a I don't have a coin. I don't have a power of the force coin. Uh, is it heavy? Voice voice coin. Can we hold it next to? Brandon's yeah, it's, it actually and... is. Uh, I don't. It is actually heavy. <laughs> can, you put, can you put it up next to my mustache? <laughs> Here, here's my, here's my, here's my, uh, my live sale table. My mustache is four, four inches. <laughs> like it's got some, it's got oh, some it's weight repro. to it. That's yeah. a repro one. Oh, it's repro. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'm going to, sh- I'm going to share another win of the week because mm-hmm. I have some cool stuff lately, but you guys are going to hopefully like this. This is Dude. something new to my, my hobby. Get ready for this, Chris. You don't <clears throat> you don't have this. It's another dick face. <laughs> what is that? I've heard about it. So check this out. Yeah. It's really actually pretty awesome. So it looks like, you know, like your standard magnifying glass. It has a stand on it. It's definitely right. getting blown out a little bit on this light, Jesus but nice. This light, yeah, there you go. You know who had one of those? My 95 year old grandmother. <laughs> so to read the paper. Ha! I can actually use so that. It's got one a super more. bright light. Yeah, you, you actually, yeah, you actually would. Yeah, I think yeah. Victor needs. I think Victor needs to reorder five more of these and send them all. Yeah, you hear that, Victor? <laughs> I need one of the. You know why? So Perfect example. I know what Charles is saying. I couldn't read some of the stuff inside one of the Lego minifigs to see if it was real. Oh my god! I'm yeah. blowing out this thing with yeah, the light. Yeah, Let me turn the light off. Oh, there you go. Still looks the same as when you were <laughs> holding it up before. Then we're not. Then we're not asking Victor either. We're telling you. <laughs> I am. And so check out this light down here. This is like a a forty times magnifier. You got to put your item really close on one side and your eye really close on the other. But it's crazy how close you can get to looking at a figure and stuff with this little yeah. one. I can so it see, uh, right inside uh, Leia's shirt with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then finally, the final. So there's a light on top. Oh my and then God. if you're using this light, there's a light for that. And then there's a black light, which is probably not Whoa. Really coming across. Do you see the purple? Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So Ooh. if you want to check on any kind of figures, you know, the paint situation, you got a yep. black light too. That's or the awesome. sabers, the yellow yep. sabers. That's and it good. comes. Uncle it Victor. comes with a, a cable to plug it in, and it just takes three or it takes <clears> three AA, AAA batteries. Wow. Thanks, Victor. So I bought Thank a second now. one in uh, black and orange. That's going to be uh, a giveaway soon on Rogue Five oh, Toys. Black and orange, black and orange. Can you, can you, and you uh, orange, show the black light through your room there to see <laughs> what? 
Whoa. The areas are working. Yeah, so this is going to be a giveaway very soon on Rogue Five. Ooh, I want one of those. I want can the black and orange one. Can we win the black and giveaway? orange? Yeah. I'll take black and orange too. Yeah. Thanks, I was I was thinking I would like the black and orange. And then when I have like my counter here, which is white, and I got the the dick faces that are white and my table's white. I just figured I'd keep it the same, but the black and orange is very cool. Hmm. So that's my win of the week is um, you guys all have the dick face glasses. Thanks to uh, Uncle Victor. And uh, thanks, Uncle Vic. Those are cool to put on when you're looking at stuff that you're holding, but they're kind of cumbersome sometimes. And just to just have this on the desk permanently and flash something underneath it real quick is uh, very convenient. How much are those? Cheap. Like. I think 13 bucks. Hmm. I like when Shane so pulls ex- out. Like it's not an the, expensive giveaway, but the uh, big words, very cumbersome. Yeah. He's been following the dick face brand all over uh, social media. Yeah, He's, right. He ordered three dick face shirts. He's wearing them at the convention. He's a huge dick fan. <laughs> He's a huge dick fan. <laughs> oh, you, you shorten the name. You just call him dicks now. Yeah. He's good. yeah. He's wearing a dick face hat at the convention too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk around with those glasses on, Chris. So my win <laughs> is nothing personal. I don't have anything um, for my collection, but I did pick up another collection to sell on Rogue Five Toys next week. Um, it's a bunch of loose figures, variants. It's like I want to say like 150 loose figures, a ton of accessories. So if anyone's looking for accessories and certain loose figures with variants, meaning like Luke Jedi will be the blue saber, the green. Yoda will be the orange and the brown, stuff like that. Um, last 17. Blue Schnag, it'll all be there. Rogue Five Toys. It's no fees, no fuss. So uh, No coupons. Do you want to no give coupons. out a coupon code for that or... Uh, no. We don't need we don't need coupons on it. Oh, no, no coupons. Yeah. Okay, no threats either. So be, be on the no lookout. Threats. We were going to announce this later, but we're we're having new Rogue Five shirts made for the convention. It's uh, Rogue Five toys. No we fees. Don't harass no you. Fuss. Yeah. No fees. It's... No fuss. No coupons. No coupons. No harassment. <laughs> no harassment. <laughs> no harassment. <laughs> so yeah, so that's my win. Don't um, need to pack your blaster. You're going to see the collection <laughs> right here. You're going to see the collection over here. And then you're gonna oh, see. Oh, look at that! There, and then you're gonna see it down there. So oh, that that's, looks. That's looks like you some good stuff. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, we're gonna look forward to seeing that on the page. I got There's a couple of uh, variants that I would like. I need a. Um, uh, I need a good Taiwan Luke Jedi, but I also e- either that and or a molded face. I don't have a molded face. So I'm always on the lookout for that lately. I just kind of discovered There's a really nice Taiwan uh, Luke Jedi on shop the vault online.com. Oh. All right. I might have to check that out. All right, boys. <laughs> do we have a whiff of the week? John says yes. Oh, you do. Ooh, I love so how this, spicy. I love how we have a timer for 20 minutes and this is turning into be 40. <laughs> It's 27 minutes and 45 seconds. Oh, God. Now but it's now, time but, for... But, but, but just remember, you've learned something about superpowers, Chris. Uh, keep, yes. keep talking. Hey. All right. What's next? That wasn't the longest segment, okay? Uh, I got some a couple of items off eBay, and they looked way better. Ooh. I'll show the picture of the items that I ordered, and here are the items that I got. I don't know if you can let me turn that that way. There we go. Mm. Trash. Yellow. Is that, is that vintage? Yep. That's very dull. Very dull. That is a and that sucks because this is a Taiwan. Twenty bucks. Taiwan with the green tint. Mm. Uh huh. What's wrong with it? I mean, it's the urinal variant. I know that, it's but like, what's scuffed? What's, you paid a lot and more than it's worth. I paid well. I paid expecting one thing, and I got another. Let's mm. put it that way. Return. I mean, you're you're rubbing your bare mm. fingers all over the sticker right now. So oh, yeah. <clears throat> and also this one. This is a Hong Kong one. It's that not one, too bad. But... It looks a little cleaner, but the sticker looks off and peeling on the side. Yeah. 
So I'll put up the pictures that I had uh, that I looked at versus what I actually got. I'm a little disappointed. So, I mean. Are you returning them? No, I'm still going to sell them, but I want to put them in the case. But I'll probably break even on them. Yeah, that, that that's happens, my whip of the week. That happens sometimes where you're like, you got to make that decision. Can I can I at least break even on them, or do I want to spend more time dealing with returns? Yeah. Well, I thought I was getting a deal on it, but mm. yeah. I just no, bought a little disappointed. Dick face. So that's my whiff of the week, huh? I bought my own dick face <laughs> just now. Just now? Yeah, it's thirteen dollars and one cent. Take your time, Charles. You know, we're only in the middle of doing the show right now, but <laughs> they're on sale. They're Black eight dollars off right now. They're um, like literally eight dollars off right now. Black and orange. Okay, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna you're gonna love this friggin' thing. I, I it's so cool. It's it like it's so great to have just wherever you sit and look at your collectibles so and that deal means with Uncle them. Victor only needs to buy one less. Uncle Victor's not gonna buy them. Oh wow, they have a green and black one too. I like that one. Do they? Yeah, but it's twenty dollars. It's, it's, it's not on sale. Oh yeah, I think I did see that one. Yeah, All right. I'm getting the orange one right now. It's it's totally worth it totally worth it so uh we have nothing to do with that company but it's a good product nice bright led lights on it all right guys that's gonna do it for another episode of wins and whiffs with the five idiots talking toys thanks very much for being here we will see you next time on our sunday podcast episode it's topic driven you can come and watch it on YouTube or listen oh. on your favorite podcast app and we're here every Wednesday with some more wins and sometimes a whiff what is Order. that? A, a demon? A, a parademon? A path of parademon. Yeah. Par parademon. All right. I think we've said all we can say, and we will see everyone next time on Five Idiots Talking Toys. Bye bye. Thank you.